I think it's about time we started talking about Shadowlands. See, the expansion's got a couple of goods and a couple of bads with it, but honestly, as it comes as a twink, we've got more questions than we have got answers. So, it's only fair for me to actually take an in-depth look in all of it and give you the answers as best as I can. Levels are always the most interesting subject when we are talking about Shadowlands. After all, it is the big selling point to have a level squish. Now luckily, Blizzard has provided us with a level chart that we can see... Mm -hmm. Now luckily, WoWhead has provided us with a much better leveling chart that we can use to our advantage. Good news for everyone who's leveled up their character of level 70 to 71, you are now the same level again. People of level 60 to 63 will be the same level as well, and so will people of level 80 to 81. So, for most twinks, these changes mean you can now level up your character a little bit to make use of this new level, doing amazing things that, I mean, you'll probably be able to do in Shadowlands anyway. Well, my level 27, previously level 70, I can now level in every zone. Oh, well, at least most zones, because from every expansion I can do a couple of zones, except of course Shadowlands itself. If you intend to play on level 50 Twink, however, you will be able to level a Covenant and max it out... Uh, hang on. It's ambiguous. See, I've tried asking around for the question and back and back and forth and I've put it down on a forum but I didn't really get an answer. Most of it is just guesses. People are suggesting that probably you will be able to max out your covenant but that's only a one condition. If you already have a level 60 and then you create a level 50 alt, there is a distinct possibility for you to be able to get a covenant and max it out because you will be able to do world quests as well. At least so people have read. It's a bit unusual because I don't really get an answer on it even though I'm asking around. I think a level 50 twink should be able to get the covenants, max it out entirely, but don't quote me on that. Now comes the gearing factor and this has both positives as well as negatives. You see, gearing on a level 70 right now allows me to enter the Burning Crusade dungeons on Heroic, and I get Heroic gear. This is, unfortunately, going to bite me right in the ass come Shadowlands, given that my new Heroic gear is now for a higher level than what I am. What? What the fuck? On the bright side, with these new levels, you have a lot more variety. Imagine you were previously level 70 and you are now level 27, the highest obtainable item level that I could find during my 10 second surge through Sunwell's loot filter was 33 or 34. Comparing this to Anchorage's loot filter, which is 29 to 30, there's not a big difference. What's more, Molten Core and Anchorage both have the same item level of loot, 29-30. And Karazhan up to Sunwell Plateau is 32 to 34. Dungeon-wise, loot is item level 32 for a rare and 33 for epics. So that's already good on itself. And what's better is you can enter a dungeon from pretty much every expansion. My level 27 can enter Waycrest Manor, get item level 32 loot, and decide, you know what, I want to go to the Temple of the Jage Serpent which I can, and again, get level 32 loot. And then I can end up in Zulfarak, which again, gives me item level 32 loot. 
Now, obviously, this item level is going to scale with your actual level, which is always a positive thing, because it just gives you so much more variety in the amount of gear you can have, especially considering that it's competitive and they are all equal. So what about gems, enchants and all that? Well, gems have been nerfed, but they are still pretty much quite strong, and I'm expecting them to be stronger than non-gem gear for the most part. On the other hand, with the sheer quantity of dungeons available to us now, there's probably a lot of different bits of skilled procs and special effects that will do us some good. It's pretty much going to be fun. There have been quite a lot of changes for professions as well. At level 1 already, you can now learn every expansion's respective profession level. Except of course Shadowlands, which still requires level 50. So, for every respective expansion, there's now craftable gear for you, starting from the lowest level all the way up to level 50. And though this opens up a couple of new items we didn't have before, it also blocks us away from a couple that are actually very good as an indirect result. This does mean that items that have been crafted before the pre-patch are still wearable to you, but now considered grandfathered. Nice. These are all the topics I could think of in this video, and honestly there's only one thing I can think of to do right now, uh, which is look for other ideas somewhere else. Hey! Oh, hey. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a small question. See, I'm working on a video, and I need some advice to see if I'm missing anything. Can you? Sure. Okay, so, um, I started with levels, you, you know, the, the leveling part, so uh, I did yeah. that. And then I started mentioning gear, so the amount of item level, item level changes and all right. that, so you, you get that. And then I started talking about professions as well. No, you're supposed to be saying talents seem important as well. Wouldn't this be a lot easier if you had a better key to do all... So yeah, that covers pretty much everything I've got at this very moment. And I'm sure there's only one or two topics that I've missed at best. And I mean, I don't think I've missed anything that's highly important for Twinks anyway. Um, so let me think, what else can I... Oh yeah, Arena Ratings is still not active on lower levels. Ice Crown Citadel can still not be entered on a level 70. Um, Locked Experience still has their own Battleground instance. Yeah, that's about covered it. Fix the lighting, no worry. No, well, that's not really much better. Do I need to be higher in frame? I'm already sitting on my own feet. But don't quote me on that either. Because there's cars driving down my street.